How's it going? What's your name? Trinity. Trinity? Cool. Uh, where are you from originally? Massachusetts. Massachusetts? Cool. Uh, what brought you out here? Um, well, I was pregnant with my, with my son and I ended up homeless after aging out of foster care. So I originally actually went to Tennessee to live with my mother and that turned out to be an unsafe situation. I didn't meet my mom until I was 19 and I found out that she was living in a bad situation. So I had my family that lived here for a while. Um, they told me about all the resources and they said that, they, that I could probably get more help here. So I took, I used one of the home forward um, services to get to Portland. But going, going back, uh, you, so you didn't grow with both parents? I only actually grew up with my dad until I was 11, and then my father died from um, undiagnosed cardiomyopathy. Oh wow, sorry to hear about that. And then I ended up in foster care until I turned 18. You didn't have any other uncles or aunts or nothing to help you, huh? I had an uncle, but he, he was, it was weird because he was my dad's best friend, and he didn't treat me like he was my dad's best friend. He didn't treat me good at all. Do you have any other siblings? Um, I got three other siblings I know of. I might have more, I'm not sure. Did, I mean, did they go to the foster care with you? or? Um, I actually never met them because oh, okay. they were from my mom only and my mom left when I was four. Uh, so you just grew up with your dad, I mean, to 11 and yep. by yourself, you and him? Wow, man, that's tough. Cool. Uh, how was the foster care system? Is that pretty rough? Or? It's pretty bad. They um, they were doing this thing called warehousing, where they just keep kids in um, in like the the children's homes instead of finding them homes because they make more money with you in a children's home than they do with you being in an actual foster home, possibly finding a ba a family. So I stayed in a children's home up until I was 17. And then I ended up finally getting a foster home because my children's home got shut down for, you know, abuse and different things. And I was also pregnant with my daughter. Did they kick you out for that, for being pregnant? Um, they couldn't technically kick me out by the state, but they could take care of me there. So they had to find me a home there. And they found me a not great home either. Wow. I, didn't, I didn't realize it at the time because I was young but the mother of the home, she was on methadone, Adderall, pretty much just a bunch of pain meds and stuff. And um, it turned out that she, she made up lies and everything to try to get my baby from me so she could have it. Um, she told me I could take a break one day and that I could go to a friend's house instead, of, you know, cause I was young, taking care of a baby by myself really. And she told my, caseworker that I ran away and she told me that I ran away three days ago instead of gone for a couple hours so I ended up losing my baby because of her really that's, that's hard man. Well, uh, what, 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 can I, what was the baby's father I mean was he a part of the the baby's father um, did he run off or? well the father was actually 36 when I was 16 I, I ended up running away from this place called Bennington School for girls uh, when I was 16 because of the same thing. It's just not a place for a child to grow up. And I ran away and ended up living in New York City for a while. And I ended up getting pregnant with this older man's baby. And he, I ended up having to actually turn myself in to back to the state custody because he was threatening to kill the baby and learning to beat me till the baby was out. So I, I turned myself in for the better life of me and my baby. Did you, uh, did you graduate high school? I graduated a year early actually. You did? Yep. Oh, cool. And uh, a placement actually helped me with that. That is one thing the Children's Home did help me with because they had a school on site. And because of that, I actually did uh, so I only really did a year and a half of high school, but so I did the other year and a half while I was in for in less than a year, really, just by I would bring my work back to my to my 
room. I would do my all my work out in my room. I would do it at the school, and I put my uh, classes first before I did anything else. Oh, that's neat. Did you ever want to go to college or anything? Or I tried to a few times. Okay. Um, I tried I tried going to online college, but I just had it had my daughter at the time, and that just didn't work. Um, I didn't think it would be as hard as it was to take care of a baby and go to online school. And then I tried a couple times, <laughs> and then I tried also when I was about, when I was about to have my son. Same thing. So, so with your daughter, what, can you tell me a little bit about that? Uh, well, I had her when I was 17. I gave birth to her. Huh? Her name is Zaria, and she's a beautiful, healthy I mean, the, the, the son, it was the, the lady took her, right? It was the son? daughter. Oh, it was the daughter. What, can you tell me about your son then? My son, I had actually here in Portland. Oh, really? And he, he I had him at St. Vincent's. Um, he was also born healthy, happy. Um, the one thing though that St. Vincent's did that was kind of messed up is I told them I wanted an epidural, but I didn't want any other pain meds. And they, without me knowing, they put fentanyl in my epidural. And I didn't know that until afterwards because it took me extra long to recover. I could move my legs still and I was sleeping my whole day. Um, but because of the, the baby's father for my son, he he was older than me, but he was kind of like the type of man who's a man but a boy still in the, in the head. And I didn't know that because I was young. And um, I ended up having to call the police because he was starting to kill me and my baby. And when the police got there, they, they took him away from me. And they sent him back to New Hampshire without me knowing to live with one of my cousins, I guess. So I'm working on that situation now because I want my babies. Oh, you're trying to get them back? I'm trying hard, yeah. Oh, that's cool. So he's in state custody right now? Unfortunately. Uh, what? All right, well, you got any plans or any goals for the future? I plan on going to school, but I want to go to school for a lot of different things. So I'm not sure yet, but I'm going to go to school for all of them. Ooh, man. All right. Well, do you have any, any advice or any quotes you want to give anybody? Um, be careful with who you trust, who you know. And really make sure that you analyze the person thoroughly, thoroughly before you let them know who you are. All right. Thank you so much. Thank you.